I posted this look on my Instagram like a week ago like it was last Monday so a week and a few days ago and you guys all loved this look and really really wanted a tutorial on it so that's what I'm giving you guys today um I saw this look oh my gosh I forget her Instagram account but I'm gonna have it right here and like every time I'm like low on inspo I literally look at her Instagram account because I'm obsessed with it and it's really really good so you guys should go follow it but she posted a look that had like purples and then a dark lip and I was like really into it so I wanted to do it for myself I also I also think I look really like political right now but I swear to god if I see one more political thing I might just have to like so we're not gonna talk about politics but anyway this is like a really I was gonna say simple look it's not very simple I mean like anyone can do it it's pretty like the steps are really easy to follow it looks kind of complicated but it's not but it's not like everyday daytime you know it's like I'm going to an event my makeup's gonna make a pop Hi, it's me, Tori, editing right now. What did I mean, make a pop? I meant make a statement. Okay, gotta go, bye. Like, this is what it's gonna be. So, like, this is, like, a statement makeup, I would say, in my opinion. Like, I would wear this if I want people to, like, look at my makeup. You know what I mean? Um, if I wanted to, like, emphasize, like, a dress or something, I wouldn't wear this. If I had, like, a really bomb hairstyle, I probably wouldn't wear this because, like, the main focus is the makeup. Even with my hair down in this look, it, like, they compete with one another, so I always have to pull my hair back with this look. It's really, it just really wants to be an, an attention whore and take the star of the show. Um, so, with that being said, it's really fun to do. I think the outcome is really gorge. Every time I do it, I like it more and more. It's just a really fun look. So, be sure to follow my Instagram because I do post daily makeup pictures on there, and I'm really liking how it's looking right now, so be sure to go follow it. Make sure to subscribe so you guys can join the family. It's so right down here. I got it this time. It's over here. So um, be sure to subscribe and that way you won't miss any other videos. So without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. Hello, it me. I'm going to be using tape for this method because I think it's just easier. And you know, if I can make my life easier, I am going to. So I'm just taping the edges of my eyes to have the edges be a little bit more clean cut. Here's where I went in with mistake number one. I did not prime my eyes, and you can see right here that I just remembered. <laughs> Go me. So here I'm just using the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer Concealer, and I'm just setting that with a cream beige shadow from the Lorac Pro Palette. Now going back with the palette, I'm taking the shade Mauve, which was like the first shade that I showed you before I realized I messed up and didn't prime my eyes. And I'm putting this in my crease, and I'm basically just... Applying this above where my lid ideally would be. Um, so I'm sort of turning my brush on like an upward angle so that I kind of can create a cut crease for myself. And then I'm going with, in with a clean to 24. Also, look at this angle of me. It looks like I'm a little kid trying to get in like a good picture. I don't know. I thought that was really funny. Anyway, I'm taking a clean to 24 and I'm just like buffing out the very edges of that mauve shade. Now I'm going to go in with Sable, also from the Lock Pro Palette. I'm really horrible at showing shade names. Like, I honestly suck. I need to get better at it. And I'm using a MAC 222, and I am putting this into my ideal crease. When I say, like, ideal crease, I mean, like, I'm kind of making myself, like, a cut crease. So I'm just putting it where I want my eye to look very sunken in. This is more of, like, a shading process. It's going to gradually get darker as we continue to add shades. And then I'm going back in with 217 that had that mauve, mauve, I 2016, still don't know how to say that word, shade on my brush and I'm just buffing that all together. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm mixing espresso and black and I am putting this in the part of my crease that I want to look the deepest and the most sunken in and like the most cut crease. This is kind of like a rough draft of this. Oh my god, I'm literally so sorry. Um, this is like a rough draft of that. So this is going to get darker over time. And then I'm going back into 222 and blending that all out together. Um, this is just going to make it seem together, but we're going to be a little bit lighter on the blending because I don't want it to be like muddy. You know what I mean? This is Max Violet Pigment. And also it looks like I've never filmed a makeup tutorial in my life because of these angles coming up. So sorry, deepest apologies. Um, but this is Violet by MAC. It's a pigment. Honestly, the color is gorgeous, but the pigment itself, like, it kind of sucks because depending on how wet you get your brush, and I wet mine, like, you know, a good amount so that the pigment would show up, 
it like the more you open your eye it really does transfer up and up and up your eyelid so you have to be really really careful with this I mean on the eye I'm doing now I significantly wet my brush more and that eye transferred a ton more than my other eye so the wetter your brush the more it's going to transfer but the more dry your brush is the less pigment payoff you're going to get if you know, if you guys know what I mean. So whatever. After I cut my crease with that shade, I'm ripping the tape off. And you can see I'm pretty pleased right here. I'm um, going in with the Tartist eyeliner. And this is a funny story. Okay, so my hand is shaking vigorously. So doing eyeliner today was like super hard. And I'll tell you why my hand's shaking so much. It's because my mom like sent me a huge box of quinoa. Yes, quinoa. And I went to go pick it up at the mail center at my campus, which is like on the other end of campus. And it was so heavy that my arms were still shaking after carrying it like 15 minutes later. So now I'm going to go into the foundation after I do my eyeliner. And this is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation 6. Like I said in my last video, I'm not crazy about this foundation for like everyday long wearing, longevity, whatever. Um, but I think the color payoff, what am I saying? I think the pigmentation, I think the coverage is beautiful and it photographs really, really nicely. And I did take some pictures after this for my Instagram, go follow it. Also, if you guys don't make that double chin when you are blending your foundation, um, I think you're doing it wrong. So I highly recommend to try it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but honestly, try it, it really does work. Um, this is the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer again. I'm using this under my eyes for concealer. I really do apologize for these angles. I know that they're horrible. Um, break is coming up, so trust me, I can film videos in my studio again, and I cannot wait. So now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm going to apply this to my nose to slim it down and contouring a little bit. I've been loving to contour my nose just because I've been taking pictures every day, and I think it looks better in pictures. I'm also going to be carving out my cheekbones, and I'm going to place this on my forehead. This like, kind of bronzes me up a little bit and sculpts me out a little bit because when you're this pale, you need it. Also, it is so annoying because throughout the tutorial, I realized I did not blend a little speck on my temple as much as I should. And trust me, it really, really bothers me while I'm editing this. Um, can we appreciate this product shot right here? Wow. A plus YouTuber. Go me. Anyway, this is the Neutrogena Micro Skin Clearing Powder. And I'm just applying this all over my face to set. These are the Ardell Studio Effect lashes and they I like doubled them up so that they could be like a little bit more intense. I already have put the glue on the lashes. I wait literally like five minutes to put the lashes on after I put the glue on. So I'm putting mascara on and you see I literally ripped out all my eyelashes for my extensions. Then I do my brows completely which is literally like a four minute routine. The whole shebang, the gel, the dip brow, the brow definer, everything. And then I put the lashes on. And even before I put the lashes on, I still blow on them because I like that glue to be super, super tacky. It really makes it so much easier to do your lashes. So, uh, yeah, once your lashes are on, um, I you see here, like you can see how the pigment sort of transfers a little bit. And that really sucks because the other eye looks really good but this eye kind of looks like shit, so sorry about that. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. Um, I'm just using a combo of Sable and Espresso and running that along my lower lash line on both of my eyes to smoke it out, make it a little schmixy, if you know what I mean. Um, and then this is the M Cosmetics Water Liner. This literally, guys, like I can't find it anywhere. Like I had it sort of my collection, but it's the best. It does not leave your water line. It's incredible amazing and it's super black I love it now I'm gonna just gonna go back in with lower lash mascara and because I'm a shit ass youtuber you literally can't even see me doing it so go me youtuber of the freaking year I'm also putting a little masky on the uppers to blend them Hula bronzer by Benefit, who is surprised, is literally my shit in half. Um, so I am just bronzing cheekbones, temples, jawline, nose. Wherever bronzer can go, I'm putting it because it slims me down, warms me up, makes me feel alive again. I just feel like a woman with bronzer. I don't know where I'd be without bronzer. 
Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. I literally talk about this in like every tutorial. It's amazing if you just want like a light glow. And this look, I don't want the highlight to compete with anything. I just want it to emphasize and give a little bit of dimension to my face because the eyes and lips are so heavy. I don't want the cheeks to compete. And this just gives a little bit of light. Um, this is Baby Don't Go Blush by MAC. I used this in my last Get Ready With Me and I've been obsessed with it ever since, you guys. It's honestly bomb. Like, it's super warm. It reminds me of like a matte version of Warm Soul by MAC. It's really gorgeous. Lips, this is Court K by Kylie. I posted, I'm using her liner and her liquid lip. Um, I posted a picture of this look like a week and a half ago and my one friend Katie commented and asked why my Court K doesn't look streaky and hers does. Um, it's a picture, so I was able to like smooth it out and kind of like hide the fact that it was streaky, but my Court K is super, super streaky as you can see here. Um, I kind of do the one rule that you're not supposed to do. I blot my lips, but it was an accident. But it's really, really streaky. Also on camera, it's coming up like kind of red, but I swear it's like a dark purple. Um, but yeah, anyway, the look is now done. Court K is on. See, this is it with the hair down. I just think it doesn't work as well. So yeah, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, comment down below. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye.